Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about how to find the trimorphic number. So first, let us see what is this trimorphic number and then we'll move on to the implementation. Trimorphic. So in the previous session, we have discussed about the automorphic number. So how to find the automorphic number. So similar to that, this is a trimorphic number. If if n is a number and cube of n ends with n, then we call it as trimorphic number. So atomorphic means if the square of a given number ends with the particular number, then we call it as a atomorphic and this is a cube. If the cube ends with the given number, okay, if the cube of an n ends with the n, okay, ends with the given number, uh, n or a given number, right, then we can call it as a trimorphic. So let me explain the concept. That means, uh, uh, let me uh, take an example so that you will be understanding. So example one, so let us take some n value as a five. So n cube, cube of n is equal to five into five into five, which is equal to 125. So this number ends with five, which is nothing but n. Okay, which is given number n. So, 5 is a trimorphic number, right? So, like this we have to do and the logic behind this one is in order to get the single digit, okay, single digit, at zeroth zeroth place or zeroth position zeroth position we need to do mod some number mod 10 and if you want to get two digits that means zero sorry zeroth and once position once position position we need to divide or mod with a number 100 if you want to get a three digits three digits so zeroth position and sorry comma once and so don't get confused here we can simply write it as a, a once position okay once position tenth position so instead of writing zero one we can simply write it as zero once and tenth position so here so once and tens and hundreds position so simply we have to mod with thousand okay so this is uh, let us take this as a uh, once position right once position okay there will be no confusion then what we have to do I, I will give you an example now I'll give you an example see example well, let us take n is equal to some 5 so cube is equal to 125 so in order to get a single digit in order to get 
single digit what we have to do 125 mod 10 okay 125 mod 10 will results results 5 similarly two digit that means 125 mod 100 okay 125 mod 100 if you do this one what will get it will uh, results 25 similarly three digit 125 mod 1000 will results 125 right so and so on and so on so for this purpose in the first iteration we'll use a 10 and we'll compare the result with a given number if it is not equal simply we'll repeat that by dividing 100 in the next iteration if if not equal we'll divide the same thing by using three digit number we'll repeat until the given number is greater than zero i mean not not uh, i mean less than zero less than or equal to zero so until the given number less than or equal to zero we have to repeat the thing and every iteration we need to reduce the number of digits right so the same thing we have applied in the atomorphic number but the only difference is in the atomorphic number we have to check whether the number uh, the square of a given number ends with a given digits right and here it is a cube now let's start uh, executing the program in python so first let us take the n value so n is equal to n is equal to so int of input so i will increase the font input enter number right so after that what we have to do we have to find out the cube cube is equal to n exponential operator 3 so i'll take one one more variable and i will initialize the n to that one and i will initialize t is equal to 10 this is for updating in every iteration so first iteration 10 second iteration will update with 100 next iteration will update with 1000 okay in order to get the number of digits so we have to repeat the process until uh, the number greater than 0 and use that find out the reminder r is equal to simply uh, the cube mod t for the first iteration it will be 10 and if if r is compared with uh, is equal to uh, some n the given number is n so simply you can initialize flag as 1 so initially take the flag as 0 flag as 0 change the flag as 1 and break the loop okay because the com if the comparison is successful we can simply say n is a uh, trimorphic number right so if not if not reduce the number reduce the number with the number of digits right so in the first iteration if it is a three digit number in the second iteration we have to go with the two digit number right we need to reduce and update the t value t value is t into 10 so in the first iteration we are checking for first one digit that is divided mod 10 in the second iteration we need to check for two digits that is uh, mod 100 right so in order to get a 100 we'll increment this one with a 10 in every iteration initially it will be taken as 10 now after successful completion of this while loop we will check the flag value and based upon the flag value we can decide whether it is a trimorphic number or not so if flag is equal to is equal to 1 uh, simply we can say n is trimorphic number and if not in the false condition in the false case we can declare is not a trimorphic number right so let us take execute take a 5 so we know that 5 cube is a 5 into 5 into 5 which is 125 right so one more uh, example take a 49 49 is also a trimorphic number let us take about this so go to the calculator so let us take 49 into 49 into 49 see last digits are 49 so we can simply say 49 is a trimorphic number 49 cube ends with the given number 
okay and also we can say 6 6 is also a trimorphic number what about uh, 3 so 3 is not a trimorphic number because the 3 cube is 27 which is not ends with a 3 and what about a 4 it's a trimorphic number because 4 cube is a 64 ends with a 4 so like this we need to check whether the given number is a trimorphic or not so the only one thing we need to remember for every iteration we need to change the denominator of mod operator so initially it mod with 10 will get a single digit and if mod is 100 if you are applying mod with 100 we will get a two, two digit number then three digit number and so on so in every iteration we are comparing that reminder with the given number if any if any case if it is equal simply we are changing the flag value and we are coming out from the loop so based upon the flag value only we are deciding whether the given number is a trimorphic or not time not a trimorphic Right. So, hope you understood this one and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this time or pick number, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.